welcome back we're going straight to a correction to our last exercise and uh, straight to it now correction number one the sum of the first n terms of a, of a sequence is given by Sn equals 5n squared over 2 divided by 2, 5n squared over 2 plus 5n over 2. Write down the first four terms of a sequence and find an expression for the nth term. That means find the first, second, and first, second, third, and fourth terms of a sequence and then find a formula and write yeah, find a formula for its nth term now before we go to that let's look at this let's look at this this sequence 2 4 6 8 10 and so on you see that s3 which is the sum of the first three terms 2 plus 4 plus 6 which is 12 and s2 is to the sum of the first and the second terms which is 2 plus 4 and that's 6 you would notice that the difference between the sum of the first three terms and the sum of the first two terms which is 12 minus 6 is 6 and that 6 is a third term you see that the difference between the sum of the first three terms and the sum of the first two terms is a third term and in the same vein the sum of the first four terms minus the sum of the first three terms is the same as sum of first four terms is 2 plus 4 plus 6 which is 12 plus 8 that's 20 minus sum of first three terms is 6 is 12 sum of the first three terms is 12 and you see that that difference is 8 which is the same as the fourth term so we can make a general so generally the sum generally the nth term of a sequence is the same as the sum of its n terms yeah the sum of is the same as its sum of n terms minus its sum of n minus one terms so we can use this we can obtain the formula for the nth term of the sequence using this now and that means 5n 5n squared over 2 plus 5n over 2 minus and wherever you see n in the formula for sn you put n minus 1 that's going to be sum of n minus 1 times and that will be n my 5 times n minus 1 squared over 2 how about clear sn minus 1 is the same as is what you obtain when you substitute n minus 1 for n in the formula for sn that means instead of writing n here you write n minus 1 and that's going to give you sn minus 1 so that means 5 times n minus 1 squared plus plus 5 times n minus 1 over 2 over 2 which is 5, of course, we can write this as 5n squared plus 5n over 2 minus, there's also a common denominator here, which is 2. 5n squared 5 times n minus 1 squared plus 5 times n minus 1. And we proceed to have 5n squared plus 5n over 2 minus 5n my 5 times n minus 1 is common to this numerator is common to this to the two terms at the numerator so when we factor that out 5 times n minus 1 will be left with n minus 1 and then plus 1 all over 2 if you yeah that's what we're going to have 
if you factor 5 times 10 minus 1 out of these two terms, this and this, you'll be left with n minus 1 plus n minus 1 here and plus 1 here. So, there we go. That means 5n squared plus 5n over 2 over 2 minus of course this would be n minus 1 plus 1 is 0 and that 5 that minus 5 times n minus 1 times n all over 2 which is the denominator is also a common one 2 and we have 5n squared plus 5n if you expand this numerator you are going to get you are going to get minus 5n squared minus plus minus 5n squared minus 5n and that would be let's check that 5 times n minus 1 times n that's of course 5n minus 5 5n minus 5 times n which is 5n squared minus 5n and you now multiply by mm -hmm. minus 1 to open the brackets so that means 5n squared plus 5n minus 5n squared plus 5n when you open the brackets over 2 so 5n squared minus 5n squared is 0 and then you are left with 5n plus 5n which is 10n over 2 which is 5n therefore the the formula for the nth terms the formula for the nth term of a sequence is 5n and we can now write t1 which means t1 equals 5 times 1 which is 5 t2 which is the second term is 5 times 2 which is 10 t3 which is the third term is 5 times 3 which is 15 t4 which is the fourth term is 5 times 4 which is 20 so therefore the first four terms the first four terms of the sequence are the first four terms of the sequence are 5, 10, 15 and 20 and the formula and the formula for it the formula for its nth term is tn equals 5n that answer that that answers that question very very simply now to the next number two the sum of the first 10 terms of a linear sequence is minus 60 the sum of the first n terms of a linear sequence is given by n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d and they said the sum of the first n, first 10 terms of this linear sequence is minus 60 that means 10 over 2 times 2a plus n 10 minus 1 is 9 9d is minus 60 and that means 2 year 1 2 year 5 which means 5 into bracket 2a plus 9d equals minus 60 we can divide both sides by 5 which means 2a plus 9d equals minus 12 let's call that equation 1 sum of the first 10 times is minus 60 and the sum and the sum of the first 15 terms and the sum of the first 15 terms i think there is an error in that 
and the sum of the first 15 terms the sum of the first 15 terms sum and the sum and the sum of the first the sum of the first 15 terms of the sequence is and the sum of the first 15 terms of the sequence is minus 165 that simply means s15 which is given by the formula 15 over 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 means 15 minus 1 and that's 14d equals minus 165 and that simply means 15 over 2 times i can bring factor 2 out of 2a and 14d and that will be a plus 7d equals minus 165 these two cancels these two and we're left with 15 into a plus 7d equals minus 165 now divide both sides by we can divide both sides by 15 and that means a plus 7d equals minus 11 let's call that equation 2 now we solve these two equations simultaneously equations 1 and 2 simultaneously and that means equation 1 is 2a plus 9d equals minus 12 and equation 2 is a plus 7d equals minus 11. now what do we do i want to multiply this by 1 and this by 2 just to eliminate a and that means 2a plus 9d equals minus 12 and this is 2a plus 14d equals minus 22 if i'm to eliminate by subtraction i'm going to have 2a minus 2a is 0 2a minus 2a is 0 9d minus 14d is minus 5d and that's equal to minus 12 minus minus 22 that's minus 12 plus 22 which is 10 so dividing both sides by minus 5 i'm gonna have d equals minus 2 let's put let's put d in 1 to get a putting d in 1 a plus 9d no 1 is 2a plus 9d that means 2a plus 9 times minus 2 equals minus 12 which means 2a minus 18 equals minus 12 which is 2a equals minus 12 plus 18 that's taking minus 18 to the right hand side and that means 2a equals 12 you divide both sides by 2 and then you get a equals 3 so what's the question find the 18th term of a sequence t18 will now which is given by a plus 17 d is equal to 3 plus 17 times d which is minus 2 17 times d which is minus 2 and that's 3 minus 34 how about correct d is minus 2 yeah and a is 3 that's 3 minus 34 which is minus 31 therefore the 18th term the 18th term of a sequence the 18th term of a sequence is minus 31 and that's it very 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 simply please copy this correction i hope you understand everything explained here and send uh, yeah copy this correction and make sure you go through it thoroughly thank you very much and see you in the